Hi, I'm Regina McCann Hess, president of Forge Wealth Management, and welcome to our Women in Wealth series. I have another friend with me today. Do me a favor and tell me who you are, what you do, and what you like about what you do. Okay. So I'm Jennifer Brango. Um, I am a coach, Jennifer Brango Coaching. I also own a co-own a business, a partner uh, in Only Results Fitness. So. Currently, what I'm doing is online coaching, mm -hmm. but I've been partnering with my husband, which you go to the gym, um, partnering with him for over 13 years in our fitness business and as an entrepreneur. And I've branched out online to start coaching women, uh, metabolism mm. and uh, confidence, energetic confidence. So my, what I love about this is um, what I learned from the women I actually coach. Um, as a coach, I'm not an advisor. Mm -hmm. I'm actually someone who asks the questions that um, some women may not be asking themselves. I'm also helping women get clear as to why their bodies are disconnected from their their whole life, why they are feeling like their body's an enemy to what they want to accomplish. And so in, in the bigger picture of it, um, my, my goal is, is to help women integrate their bodies with their life and understand that what they do with their bodies is is just an expression of how they're treating themselves energetically and also you know metabolically mm -hmm. so that's in a nutshell my craziness that I've created online and so that's kind of how I handle it and that's why I love it because everyone is different everyone's yeah. unique mm -hmm. um, and that's what's so exciting about it yeah, yeah and I watched your uh, Facebook live the other yes. night it was pretty yes. awesome yes you, you metabolic and energetic confidence and what the F is it because um, <laughs> most people are like what are you talking about so you know my my goal is is to help women understand they are not a victim to their bodies they they have a right to choose mm -hmm. and you know, oftentimes we've been brought up in a world where our bodies are, you know, like they are what they are. We're genetically predisposed to be quote unquote fat like our mothers, or we're genetically predisposed to be short, blonde hair, you know, whatever. We're, we're never going to be tall, you know, so we feel like we're always less than. So we feel a victim to that. Mm -hmm. And I want to teach women that metabolically that's affecting them because mm -hmm. our metabolism are stress barometers. And when, when you are treating yourself in that manner, a victim to yourself or you're angry with yourself, you present yourself and your body reacts to it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when it comes to your life, if you're feeling less than, no choices, all those things, the first place I like to start is how are you treating your body are you taking care of yourself are you you know exercising for you not over exercising are you feeding your body and not dieting to the extreme so there's a lot of things that come involved it's it's learning how to choose mm -hmm. what you want to accomplish versus expecting and pushing and all this other stuff that we do um, and that's really kind of what a gist hopefully it yeah that's Great, I mean, and, you, and it is different when you when you are exercising. You you know you're taking time for you, and you're yes. doing what's right for you, and you yes. feel just in general better about yourself and better about the world. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, I think you know the, the funny thing is, Regina, I totally agree with that. The unfortunate part about it is that a lot of women exercise because they're trying to run away from something that they don't like about themselves. They're either beating themselves into it, they're telling themselves that they have to do it, they're. Uh, extreme dieting or they're not dieting at all and they're just eating all the foods that are very you know like that are not helping them inflammatory they can't understand why you know like I'm you know 50 years old I'm 50 years old and why is it at 50 years old I have to be wrinkly and old and fat and all this other stuff and or I'm going through menopause and we, we fight against it versus easing into it loving yourself into it now sometimes that's really difficult for women to even like themselves mm. so my first goal is, is let's start liking ourselves first let's start learning how to like parts of ourselves and embrace our whole self wow. and mm. if you're gonna exercise exercise and do the move your body the way your body's beautifully meant to move make sure that you're actually feeding your body what your body needs you know not stripping all the foods away but then over consuming them it's 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 really a matter of kind of the ebb and flow mm -hmm. and learning those parts of yourself and one thing I really emphasize is energetically if you're showing up the victim if you're showing up angry you're going to present yourself in other areas of your life much like that in your work as an entrepreneur you're an entrepreneur you know that when you're treating yourself badly sometimes your work 
you're pushing and hard and everything else. And it sometimes comes off very aggressive. It comes off very like, uh, what, who's this lady? Or you can be like, I'm a victim to my world, so everybody walks all over you. Mm -hmm. So, and that's really where we need to kind of find that harmony versus I'm not a big fan of balance because there is, in, in essence, there is no balance. You're right. a mom, yeah. you know, we're women. We're in a world of like growth and, and expansion, but when you are trying to push yourself into it, that's when we know metabolically our bodies will respond. And that's when we start to see, you know, like we start to gain weight, we start to feel fatigued, we start to feel overly hungry, we start to feel cravings, our mood sucks. All these things happen and it's really important that we understand that it all goes together. That's where I'm coming from that aspect because it's really important to me. Right. Um, for the women that I've helped, especially in the gym, they walk into my gym and they're like, tell me what to do, tell me how to do it. I wanna beat myself up. <clears throat> and I, I don't see them after seven days because they beat themselves up, they've starved themselves for days, and now they're, they have no joy in their life and they hate themselves. I will say Jen's gym is fantastic. I have taken a, I had taken a very long hiatus and I came back and everyone is super friendly. I mean, not just the people who work yeah. there, but the people who go there to work out, super, super friendly and yeah. a very uh, supportive group. Yeah, so, and, you know, happy. my husband and I really, we worked hard. It was tough fighting against the, the ideal <clears throat> of what people want out of a gym. You tell me what to do, tell me how to do mm -hmm. it. And, and honestly, the majority of the people are like yourself. They're like, look, stop treating me like crap. Mm -hmm. I don't want to treat myself like crap. You're welcomed in there. It doesn't matter whether you're perfect, you're high intensity, low intensity. We teach you how to like yourself and exercise. I mean, like that's just a bonus, you yeah. know, it's really just a bonus and, and learn how to exercise for you mm -hmm. and not overkill. So no, it's, it yeah. is great. You yeah, guys yeah. do a great job. Yeah. Do a great yeah, job. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. And that's kind of what we do. That's, you know, like that's, I take that piece and I go online with women and, and, you know, it's it's funny because you know most of the women I have just a small group of women, and we it's it's all in. They're like, I never thought it was gonna be like this. We don't talk a whole lot about like what they're eating and how they're exercising. We talk a lot about what they're feeling mm -hmm. and how they're presenting themselves and how they're showing up and how they're depleted by life in in the in an essence. So mm -hmm. yeah. So wow. sorry I talked too much. No, it's <laughs> awesome. No, this is all good stuff. I'm a very passionate person. Oh, I love it. I love it. Well, thank you for joining me today. Uh, this I is appreciate excellent it. Excellent information. Yes. Um, I want to thank everyone else for joining us on our Women in Wealth series. And for more information, follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Forge Wealth. And on LinkedIn, you can find me at Regina McCann Hess. Thank you.